Today, I'm going to take you through my process of how I would approach a poster design. We're gonna open up Illustrator. I've already sketched out a concept. You can use the pen tool, the pencil tool, whatever you feel comfortable in tracing. We're just gonna spend the next few minutes here tracing this. I'm just gonna select all of these circles here and I'm gonna do a shortcut Shift M and that pulls up the Shape Builder tool and Option allows you to delete. So we're gonna go ahead and just delete some of these lines to clear up. We're gonna go to the Width tool and we're going to create that shape right here. And once we get that, we'll just go ahead and expand it, give it a line stroke. Do you wanna create stars really easily? You would just create a square and go to Effect, Distort, Pucker and Bloat and just go ahead and move that in there. I'm going to right click join these together using the direct select tool. We're just gonna round this corner right mm -hmm. here and that way it just makes it a little bit more smoother. This is what it would look like before we go into coloring. I'm going to select all these colors, hit my swatches panel. We'll just say starting point, selected art. It'll put all these swatches in here for you. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and I'm gonna open up a new layer below it and I'm gonna name it live paint. And so we're gonna go ahead and copy that same layer. We're gonna take away the fill and stroke. So I will keep the outlines as a guide so I can see my art actually as I'm coloring it, but then eventually I can take away the lines if I don't want the lines in there. While we have that selected, and we're gonna go to live paint and make. If you hit K, we can go to our color palette or you can just sample from here and we can just start coloring in the piece. I'm coloring all in my live paint layer. So if I remove the line work, we're gonna just get this. So now that I have the live paint completed, we're going to dive into generative color. We're gonna select our fill color, edit colors, generative recolor. Let's try yellow submarine. I love these colors. I did a lot of just exploring and just kind of experimenting. And I somehow got this. <laughs> I'm gonna go to recolor artwork. This is gonna pull up the, the entire palette that it's using. I'd like to see maybe the orange just a little bit brighter. Okay, so this ended up being the finalized color decision that I that I decided to go with. So we're gonna select this, file new, and we're gonna do 16 by 20 document and paste this in. So now we're gonna color separate. We're going to select the paper color. I'm gonna copy that, open up a new layer, and this is gonna be our background layer. Paste in place, and then we'll go to Pathfinder um, and then we'll hit merge and a merge will uh, merge all of the, the same colors together. It just cleans up your file. We'll go ahead and get our magic wand tool and we'll select the off black, command C. We'll delete that, open up a new layer, go ahead and paste. We'll name this off black. I'm gonna do the same thing for orange. And we're putting these all on their, their own layers. Now that that's ready to go, we're gonna go to file, export, export as and we're going to save this out as a PSD. Open up Photoshop. I'm just gonna create a folder for shading. So I'm gonna control click yellow and that's gonna select everything that's yellow right here. We're gonna open up a folder and I'm gonna just name this yellow inside my shading folder and we'll create a mask. That way, everything that I color will just go inside of this yellow mask layer. We're gonna go to a brush, lay the opacity at 50, doing some, some quick shading in here. I'm gonna make another folder just for my halftones. I'm gonna go ahead and use this halftone one right here. And since I'm using masks, I can, just, I can just fill it in. From here, I can change colors, maybe just lighten the opacity down a little bit. So create a layer mask here, and we're gonna do the same thing. Then we added a texture on top. Then I added an additional texture that would just bring in white noise. This is it. Looks so good. Thank you guys. It's been a blast.